There's also one thing that is gnawing at me that I want to also uh, go over at this point. I think I think probably now is a good time to address it. First of all, notice our ship. If I go up, it goes up and down at a good speed. But if I go left, it goes a lot faster. Right, lots faster than up and down. In fact, uh, let me. I'll try to exaggerate this a little bit. I'm going to drag this window out. And notice here, I'm going to push the right key, and our ship disappears. Right. The reason why our ship disappears, it's a graphics thing, and we're going to get a whole suite of videos on graphics coming up. But um, for now, I to make the window, what we're seeing is OpenGL. It, it's taking up a certain part of the window, and as I expand and shrink my window, um, it's taking up that original amount of window space and no more. I want OpenGL to say, hey, adjust to my big wide screen now, even though you can't see the edges of my screen. I still want OpenGL to adjust for that. So, a uh, quick way to do that for now, and we'll patch this up later. I'm going to say GL viewport. The viewport into our world is going to be the upper left hand corner of the actual GUI screen, and then make it the width of the GUI screen and the height of the GUI screen. Alright, now hopefully you're maybe you can see that GL viewport we could use that to do two viewports into our scene like if you had a split screen multiplayer game or something but for now we're just going to do that control F5 build succeed so now I can drag this window nice and wide notice the arrow is changing size as I as I uh, adjust the window I'm going to make the height real low here but the width is extreme so if I push right we're going to go very fast right and left horizontally, but if I push up, pretty slow. Why is that slow? Well, again, it has to do with the reason why the the reason is because the window is wider than it is tall. And recall that I said this is Y, and this is positive 1 in the Y, and this is X, and this is positive 1 in the x. So if I tell our ship to move 0.5 in the y, well, 0.5 is halfway right here. Let me get a better color. All right, this is 0.5 in the y. But 0.5 in the x, well, since our window is wider, 0.5 is actually longer in this direction. So how do we solve that? Well, there's a few ways we can solve it. We can force our window to be square. That would solve the problem for sure. We can go in and adjust the QT library uh, to be square, or we can uh, make some adjustments and make up for this, no matter how wide or thin our, our window is, doesn't really matter. But I, I do want to make you aware of that. Um, I'm actually not going to try to fix it right now, because I want to focus more on the the math and the graphic. The graphics will come later. We'll we'll adjust for the graphics now. I want to just, just be aware that if you see the ship moving up and down or at different speeds depending on the direction, that's why uh, we, we have some errors or some flaws here, some inconsistencies, which we'll address much later when we get to the graphics section of uh, building our engine.